Osteodistraction, or what we call uh, distraction osteogenesis, um, it's a technique for actually growing bones for a patient. And you say, well, gee, that sounds great. What is that all about? Well, in the work that we do in craniofacial surgery and pediatric plastic surgery, many of our patients have what we call hypoplastic or very small bones in their skull, in their face, and in their jaws. So one of the major challenges that we have as surgeons is to try to grow those bones or rebuild those bones to put them into a normal adult style or adult position. And that can be very difficult. And some of the patients we see are very, very what we call hypoplastic again, with very, very severe bony deficiencies. In the past, we would try to build the patient's face or build their skull by adding bone. We'd take bone out of their rib cage. We may take bone out of their hip bone, add that to the face, add that to the, to the cranium to try to build, to try to expand, to try to give a normal facies for these patients. Um, and that can work well for certain types of patients, but there's a lot of downfalls with that type of procedure, and especially for patients that have very severe anomalies, very or very severely hypoplastic. Just adding bone on top of other bone is, doesn't work very well, and we know that from experience. The concept of distraction osteogenesis is to let the patient actually grow their own bone. So wouldn't it be great if a patient had, say, a small a small chin and a small mandible, or a small mid-face, a small cheek region, or maybe small orbits, and somehow let them grow their own bones in their own natural position. That would be a great thing, but how do we do that? Well, this is through distraction. Distraction is a technique where we actually grow those bones for the patients. And we do that by going in and creating a bony fracture. And just like if I fall down tonight and break my arm, um, we put a cast on it in the ER, and then the next day, and I wake up and my body looks at that and says, wow, look, at there's a fracture there. What, that's not good. Let's repair that. And it starts to lay down new bone. Well, that concept of kind of tricking the mother nature, so to speak, or tricking the body into seeing that fracture and then letting it grow is what, is what, we, is what distraction osteogenesis is really all about. We go in as surgeons under anesthesia, create a controlled fracture, and then we put some type of device across that fracture and that device is a mechanical device that actually stretches that fracture line open a little bit, very slowly, about a millimeter a, a day. Um, and what happens, is you can think of it as we, we open that little fracture line by a millimeter. That night, the body looks and goes, oh my gosh, there's a fracture there, let's repair it. So it gets busy and heals it up. Well, it's not quite healed all the way, so the next day we turn the, we turn the uh, distraction device again open that little fracture line again, and that night the body says, oh my gosh, there's another fracture, let's heal that up. Well, we do that sequentially, very slowly. So we actually expand the bone at the fracture site, and the body, the patient themselves, creates their own bone graft exactly where we want it. So that's the beauty of distraction osteogenesis. And nothing's better than Mother Nature doing the work for us. And uh, it's, having done this work now for a long time, uh, and with the group here, we see Routinely, when we go back in on patients that have had distraction, you look at the bone where the bone cut has been made, we call it an osteotomy. You can't even tell there was ever anything done at that site. So it just looks like normal bone. So it's a, it's a fantastic, fantastic um, uh, procedure and um, treatment technology, treatment device for the right patient. Mm -hmm.